Welcome back Swans, I am your host, The Black Swan, and today we're going to be playing Battle Brothers. Now I am playing the Legends mod, we're also going to be starting a new playthrough called Okamilos, that's what my company is named, it means lowborn in Greek. We're going to be playing the Peasant playthrough, meaning we cannot hire any highborn people, we can't hire knights, we can't hire lords, we can't hire nobles, so essentially we're gonna be using the low tier of society the working man the blue-collar worker the guy who who uh, farms your turnips and potatoes so without further ado let's jo jump right into O Camilo's alright so before the before I started recording I went ahead and uh, rearranged my soldiers because this is not how when I first started the the seed of the game this is not how everybody showed up. Everybody showed up mismatched, their weapons not really uh, representative of what their stats are. So I went ahead and did all that boring stuff first. I'm ready to accept my first quest. So let's jump in. I'm all ears. How many crowns are we talking, buddy? Escort caravan to sunset about two days to the northeast. I'll get free food, and I'll get 270 crowns on completion, and I get 15 crowns per kill. I'm down. How much? How many crowns? Are, okay, so it cost me about 200 crowns a day to run my mercenary company because I have how many fucking people? I have 12 people out of 27. That's the cool thing about running um, the militia around the peasant mob is that you can literally just saturate the battlefield with just bodies. So that's what I'm going to kind of do. And let's see, we have a little... What's going to be our mission statement? We're going to get our company back to 16 men. So that's going to be our first little, oh shoot, okay. So that's going to be our first little mission statement of the game. We're going to see if we can get our company back up to 16 men. We're four men shy of that. We're uh, a strong 12, plus five for this caravan. And we're going to go ahead and skip our first round of combat so that these guys will run closer to us. A very sound tactic. Especially when uh, you outnumber them. Let them come to us. I'm in no hurry. And these guys are dog shit in combat anyway, so I'm not worried about them. Not in the slightest. Tomas, let's get this war dog. Sorry, doggy. Ooh, dog. You chose the wrong day. So, Emil or Amelie. This guy's got the more dangerous weapon. Let's go ahead and take him out. Ooh, and you miss. How'd you miss with a sword? Let's see if we can bash his head and knock him out. And we miss. Man, everybody's missing this playthrough. So far, my pitchforks are two for two. Oof. Sorry, doggy. At least I bashed you over the head. You didn't have to feel anything. Got to knock that doggy out. Um, I always say it through each playthrough. It doesn't matter how many times I play this game. I really hate having to kill the dogs. I mean, they are coming for us, and it is self-preservation, but still. Hearing that little dog squeal is pretty sad. Ruthard, go ahead. Unleash your stones. And he missed. Let's see. Denny's. I'm gonna go ahead and wait you right there. Um, doesn't really look like the, this guy, Walfram. He's gonna be our thrower, our netter and our thrower. So we're gonna go ahead and run you into cover behind somebody else. Eugene. Hell yeah. Get in there, Eugene. Oof, that's not what I want to do, but that's all right. I tried to, I tried to sco scooter in a little closer into combat. We're gonna try and get our strongest members into combat as fast as possible. Oh, and I should have attacked with him. I think I skipped his attack run. Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. She's got decent armor, but I don't want her to sit there tanking because she's not a tank. This character, what's her name? Sybil. She's a militiaman. She's meant to do damage and not take damage. So we need to be very careful about that. Let's see if we can take this rabble out. Ooh, damn. Getting some bad rolls this game. Oh, this guy's really, really having a bad time. We're going to have to hide him behind someone else. Nice. Those two rocks landed. Did a little bit of damage. I think we're going to turn him into our designated slinger. I remember I have one guy on the team that I'm going to turn into a slinger. Now, turning a, um, a slinger, if you guys don't know what that is, let's say you've never played the game before, or you have played the game before, you never use a slinger. It's a guy who throws a rock. Now, why would you rather have a guy who can throw a rock as opposed to using a bone arrow? Well, for one, he never runs out of ammo. He, he literally always has uh, stones on him. Not only that, 
Um, usually the people that have the ability to throw stones also have access to the fear perk. Meaning that anybody that they do damage to, it's going to proc a, a fear, a fear, a fear check. So if you, if you can think on your feet, throwing two rocks per turn, if they do, if they manage to land and hit, that's two potential enemies that you can cause fear and have them run away. So that's a very, very useful little uh, tactic to have under your sleeve. And you got to think when you're fighting a battle, you got to think tactically, whether it's a video game, whether it's real life. You don't always need to do damage where you the best damage is psychological because if you can make the enemy not want to fight you damn you already won okay so let's see if we can take him out nice good job dmr we're gonna see if we can chase these guys down keep them from running away because each kill i get that's uh extra gold in my pocket which is good for this starting for this first starting uh for starting missions. Not only that, but the extra armor, different extra weapons that they have could really, really help out my cause. And I guess the little background story for my guys, um, they were tired of, of their uh, of their current situation, decided to take the, the world on their own hands, and they're going to try and forge their own way in the world. So they started off with what little weapons they have, what little wep uh, money, what little armor and training that they have banded together and they said hey you know what we're gonna create our own world with blackjack and hookers so when you're a farmer when you're a peasant when you're a miller which is like those people that grain uh, they grind grain uh, you don't really have a whole lot to your name you know that guy's probably gonna get away Nobody else is though. That, guy, that guy's got a little shank on him. So we're trying to get as many people as we can into the mix. Hopefully this guy will get scared because he's surrounded. It'll be easier to finish him off. Come on guys. There's just one guy left. What I don't want to do is I don't want that guy to get free hits and hurt somebody there we go doesn't look like this guy's gonna be too much of an issue so we're gonna go ahead and end the battle we're gonna end the round it should hopefully proc the battle to end because we're not gonna be able to catch that guy we did enough damage for this one it's over let's see what the damage is so nobody on my team took se severe damage except for Walfram Walfram took a pretty bad beating he came out okay though, although his face is fucked up. Let's see, we got some extra gold, not bad. We got some extra tools. We didn't really get very much in the ways of weapons. We did, however, get a buckler. That is pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can equip that to somebody right now who's going to need one. And I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Emil. There you go, Emil. You're going to be in the center. Actually, Laura... Oh no, that's why I gave her the shield because she's gonna be the uh, Laura Turncoat. Congratulations, you've just been named Laura the Shield because you are going to be one of our first tanks. She's got a pretty decent build, one star in melee, three stars in melee defense, pretty high starting hit points, and a decent fatigue considering the weapons that she has equipped. Everything else, let me see. Let's go ahead and trade your clothes out since they're damaged. Anybody else that took damage to their weapons or their clothes? Um, 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 um there we go. Everybody else should be in good, good hands. So 15 times eight is going to be at least a, an, over another hundred. So we should be good on gold. We're going to at least get a decent amount of money. Nice. So this barbarian dude, he was uh, we needed to go inside. The, uh, I will just skip it. It's not. It's not important. This is a little side quest. There's a guy chained inside of a, inside of a cage. We went in there and talked to him, calmed him down. We got some extra money for it. Easy, simple little side quest. Racking up the money. However, we do need to buy some tools to repair our armor and weapons. Let's see. We're doing okay on on food for right now. We're doing okay on money. I was hoping we can get into one more fight, but I guess not. That's all right. We got we racked up a decent amount of money. Let's see if we can buy some weapons along the way. Sell everything that we don't need. 
buy one more little thing of food. Is there anything else we could buy here? Let me see. There's another shield. Go ahead and buy that. I'll go ahead and buy another tunic. I'll buy that cultist hood. Why not? It looks kind of cool. Um, anything else? That war fork is looking really sexy right now. And it's pretty expensive, so I think I might have to hold off. We're going to go ahead and buy some bandages. Ooh, and everybody leveled up. Holy crap. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give Walfrim, since he's going to be our designated, um... <laughs> He's going to be our designated thrower. We're going to go ahead and kit him out as such. So let's see. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him student. I want everybody to level up as quickly as possible. Adriana. Adriana, what are you going to be? You got three into your melee defense. Or into your range defense. We might just throw you... We might have you start the game off alone. In the future battles. We might just throw you into the side. So we're going to go ahead and give you alert so you start off with more initiative. Let's see, we have Eugene. Eugene, what do you have on you, buddy? Yes, yeah, so you got some extra maximum fatigue. We'll give you two melee skill. It's really shit. I feel like there's other, like there's better melee rolls that I could give him, but that's fine. We'll give him, make him a little braver. We'll make you a little braver, and we'll also give you Colossus, make you be able to take a few more hits before you go down. And let's see, how about a melee... Amelie, your your skill set kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, not going to lie. So let's go ahead and kit you out a little bit better for melee. You might just be one of our frontliners for the minute. We're also going to give you students so you level up a little quicker. Let's see, now we have Laura, the shield. Hell yeah. Laura, we already know what you're going to do. There's not going to be anything special about you. You're going to run up there and you're going to try and hold the line as long as humanly possible. Let's go ahead and turn her into a better tank, give her Colossus so she has extra hit points. Sybil. Or Sybil. Damn, Sybil. Damn, Daniel. So she's got three stars and range defense. We might also have her out on the flank. Definitely we'll have her start off in the flank, be a little arrow sponge. Although she was a pretty damn strong militiaman. Maybe we'll keep her on the side with a, a spear. I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and give her Pathfinder. Have you start off on the side. For now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give Wall from the hood. There you go. No one wants to see that ugly mug. Winrich. Plus three to your two star melee. Give you some more health and some more fatigue. Also going to give you Colossus. Because eventually I want him to be up in the front line. Maybe a two-hander weapon. Ruthard the Peaceful. My dude. You are definitely going to be one of our... You are definitely going to be our slinger. So let's see. He goes from a 58 skill point to a solid 70. This guy's going to be hitting everybody. So we're going to go ahead and give him some better armor so that he stays alive a little longer. Give him a satchel so he looks a little bit nicer. He looks like a f the fat friar from Robin Hood. Dietmar, the ox. Damn, he's pretty strong. He's got 10 hip or he's a pretty good character. He's got iron lungs and he's got tough. Makes him super, super, super good. Although his rolls this 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 round kind of sucked ass. Um, that 56 kind of sucks. I'd rather make him a little braver. Mm, everything he has kind of sucks. We'll give him nine lives. No, not yet. You know what? Um, let's give him nine lives. Why not? We'll make him a little bit harder to kill. Tomas. Tomas, you really, really sucked with that pitchfork, man. I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. What are we going to do with this guy? We got to do something with him. He has quick hands, but he doesn't have extra bags. So this guy cannot be a thrower. This guy might just have to be... This guy just might have to be a frontliner. Not really good at anything. Unfortunately. Let's see. Waldenmar. Waldenmar, you're decent. We're going to go ahead and give you some more health, and we're going to make you a student. I don't know what we're going to do with you just yet, buddy, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Last but not least, we have Denny's. Denny's like the restaurant Denny's? We're going to go ahead and give Denny's some extra fatigue. We'll give him a little bit more resolve, make him a little braver. Let's give him student. Okay, so we got everything we need. 
I forgot we have a shield. Let's go ahead and equip that while we're here. There we go. Is there one more buckler I can buy? Let's go ahead and give all our front line a shield, a buckler of some form. So we have, okay, so we've got two axes, we've got two maces, our bludgeon, and we have a swordsman in the front. That's a pretty decent little spread of damage. Let's go ahead and accept the next crown. Wasted a lot of time doing that. Escort caravan to the west. I think it's like a day. Hopefully it'll be a quick travel because uh, we can't really spend money traveling like that, waste money. And I spilled some of my drink. It's awesome. Sybil the militiaman gets eager. All right, cool. These are talking to each other, flirting, kind of gay. It's 2020. I don't mind. <clears throat> okay, so you can buy some copper ingots and trade them. Man, this place has a lot of good stuff. Let's go ahead and see if we have any quests. All right, let's go. So we're gonna escort these guys, same as the first quest. We're gonna be escorting them to, I'm not sure how far, but it's gonna take at least two days and we're gonna get paid 280 when we get there. So essentially traveling for free. The main payoff is gonna be if we manage to kill anybody. Oh, Camilo's. That's what my company is named. Oh, Camilo's means lowborn. Little do people know that those lowborn carry more power than the highborn because they outnumber them. Thousands to one, millions to one, even. Can I sell my copper ingots? No, not worth it. Let's keep it going. Ooh, and I don't have enough money for. I don't have enough money for anything. Keep it moving. We might have to get rid of some of my men because we're paying them. Eugene Red. Okay, so let's. Did we try to knock a uh, fucking arrow? Uh, an apple off this guy's head? Eugene Red, he's knocking an arrow and taking aim. That cat purrs. Oh, he kills the cat. Aww. Damn, that was really dark. We try to help the cat. We try to shoot at the tree next to it to get him out of the way. We end up killing the cat. The cat falls to the floor with the arrow going through his brain. Oh man, that was a really sad and dark story. If you guys didn't have a chance, pause the pause the playthrough and go back and read that. That was really dark. <laughs> so we got enough money to buy some medicine, but it doesn't look like we have very much in the way of that. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we can do for money here. Oh gosh, so we're gonna be. Oh, that's a really shitty quest. We're gonna be fighting in a swamp. There's nothing I hate more in this game than fighting in a swamp. It's the absolute worst terrain. Hopefully, it's uh. Hopefully, it's just bandits. Ooh, even better. Some ghouls. Some ghouls. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let these guys run to us. I'm not in any hurry to get to them. Matter of fact, they get slowed down the more they run through the bog. I'm surprised I'm only getting paid 270 to deal with these fuckers because these guys are literally some really, really... I, uh, I wouldn't say they're hard to kill, but they're super annoying early game. You would think that they would pay me a little bit more. Damn, missed everything. So what I need to do is I need to space out my attacks. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want these guys to eat their own to eat their own uh, 
their own fallen because if they do they end up becoming a lot stronger so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and kill one of them and then move on to their body so that they can't eat it yeah so if I didn't explain it uh, clearly enough when you kill one of these little bastards they cannibalize their friends and they end up getting stronger they mutate and they turn into like a bigger monster and they can do that up to three times so it's uh, it's a really really pain in the ass mechanic nice okay so we match to stun one of them um, not doing much damage and I'm missing with everybody it's not gonna it's not gonna end well see if we can maybe sneak around back backdoor them a little bit Oof, so this guy, next turn, he might eat his friend. And we need to stop that from happening at all costs. Because if we do, that guy just turns way stronger. Needlessly stronger. And you know what, that's actually a really, really bad idea. I, I really need to kill that guy soon. So let's see if we can move him closer with everybody that we have. Oof, Winrich looks like he's taking some damage. Okay, so he ate his friend, and you just got to see now he's got two horns on his head. He's a little stronger. Real shitty, real shitty situation. So we got to kill this guy fast. Um, this guy doesn't even have a weapon. Damn, and it's not gonna help that everybody freaking sucks at hitting this early on. There we go. Looks like one of the little guys is running away, thank god. So I really only have to worry about three three men, and one guy's kind of running away. So that's not too bad. Okay, last one. Awesome. Now we're good to go. Our turn. Oh, come on. Very nice, very nice. Let's go, boys. Ooh, everyone's running away. Easier to kill them. At least we don't have to worry about them trying to hurt us. Free hits. Oh, let's go. Let's go, boys. Nice. Last guy. Let's go. Easy. Easy battle. Could have gone a lot worse. We got some extra money. We got some extra items. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and turn that in. Turn that in. And then we're going to see if we can find some place to sell these copper ingots. Anybody level up? Nobody leveled up. So let's go ahead and keep it moving. Alright, so we went ahead and turned in our quests. We'll go around and camp here for a few hours. Wait till morning. See if I can buy anything from the... Tell me my, old, my fortune, old woman. Time to keep it moving. Okay. <clears throat> it looks like they also have another quest to give me. Um, I can sell those for a lot more than they're worth. So let's go ahead and get rid of everything that I don't need. Looks like all of these are going to expire anyways. We're going to go and buy some extra food. We have a little bit of extra gold, so we have a little bit of extra time. I'm not really worried about it right now. I have about six days worth of pay. It's going to be another escort mission, but I'm just not going to get paid enough money to justify traveling all that way. We're going to go ahead and buy some amber shards, and we're going to keep it moving. Hopefully we can find some place. I just need a big city. Ooh, brigands. Uh, no, it's not worth fighting in the... I, I don't want to be anywhere near this stupid-ass place. I really don't like fighting in, in bogs. Okay, it doesn't look like I can buy anything from them. How about a quest? Hunt down what terrorizes. Stropping him. Stovenheim. Let's go ahead and give this guy this. We're going to give him one of these. 
because we may need to we may need to use a couple extra nets in this battle. I hope it's dire wolves. Ooh, dire wolves! Three of them, easy, easy. I'm not worried about three of them. Let's go, boys. Um, let's go ahead and let them come to us. They're gonna waste all their turn running to us. That's fine. Damn. So I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try to knock as many of them unconscious as I can. Maybe we can sneak around them. Shit. That is not what I wanted to do. I tried to throw a net on him. For some reason it didn't work. And these guys are extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. They attack three times and they do a shit ton of damage, especially when I don't have very good armor to start off with. Okay, so it looks like we... Hopefully we can knock this one unconscious. Boom! Hell yeah! So that little stars above him, we knocked him out for a round. We don't have to worry about him hurting us. Hopefully we can take him out. 51% chance. Do it, dog. And you missed it. Who are you? 61% chance or 51? Take him out. My boy. Good job, DMR. You're definitely up for promotion. Um, Can we net him? And you missed two nets. Pick it up. Hell yeah. So we got two werewolves knocked unconscious. We don't have to worry about them for the next round of combat. Not worried at all. Because they can't hurt us. At least not till the next round. We're going to move everybody into superior position to hurt them. Hopefully we can take them out. Going to try and move everybody up to a better position. Pick up your stupid things and move. Okay, so both of these guys are awake again. There we go, we knocked one out again. We're almost done, he's almost out. Very nice, so we took out that Ooh, there's one left. Let's go boys, hell yeah. Didn't take a single bit of damage, we got some level ups, we got some organs, <laughs> we got some adrenaline glands, we got some strange meat. Now let's go ahead and turn that quick quest in. Matter of fact, before we turn that quick quest in, let's go ahead and level everybody up. Ruth Thart the Peaceful, going to give you a little bit more melee range. Attack will give you a little bit more hit points, some armor. Let's see, what else we can give you? We're going to go ahead and give you alert, buddy. Actually, is there anything else we can give you? Not yet. We'll give you an alert so that you get to go first, the early rounds. Emil, what do you got? Emil doesn't have anything. She got a horrible roll this time. So we're gonna go ahead and make her. We'll give her. We'll make her faster, make her braver, and we'll give her a little bit more air. And Emil, what else can we give you? We can give you gifted Emil. Kind of a shitty option to give people, but you know what? She could use those extra stats. We're gonna make her a little better with the shield. We're also gonna make her a little bit better with her air. So she hits a little better. She has a little bit more defense with her shield, and she has a lot more air. So she's good there. And Laura the shield of course we're gonna give you more air actually let's do this we're gonna go ahead and give you better air we're gonna give you more shield and we're gonna give you more mmm that plus two kinda sucks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give you a little bit more better resolve we need you to be a little braver especially since you have superstitious oh my gosh that really sucks means that she's not as brave as she could be <laughs> We'll give you recover as well so that you don't have an asthma attack on the battlefield. Allow you to recover some of your lost energy. Dietmar, you're going to be our backline soldier, sir. So we're going to go ahead and give you some extra health just in case. 116. You never know. We might actually throw him up in the front with a two hander weapon. What else can I give this kid? 
He's got our, our war fork right now, so he has a little bit bad, uh, <clears throat> he has a little bit extra uh, damage or chance to hit. Um, but he doesn't really have anything else that's good. We'll give him adrenaline so that you get to attack first. Let's go ahead and give you that, buddy. And Waldemar, you are complete garbage, sir. But we're gonna go ahead and turn we're gonna turn you into something better. Cause you're the best around. No one's ever gonna keep you down. So now he's like a basic stat frontliner. He's not gonna be the greatest, but he's he's trying. He's trying. So we're gonna go ahead and turn in this last quest. Let's get our let's get our money. So let's see. Can we sell anything here? Doesn't look like we can sell anything. Where's the nearest? Where's the nearest big city? Small village, small fortification, a stone keep. Oh, that was not worth it. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I bought those. That was a really shitty deal. I should have bought them previously. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can sell most of the stuff to that stone keep. We're gonna end this playthrough. Excuse me, not playthrough. We're gonna end this session. We're going to try and see if we can sell some of the stuff that we have over there. Hopefully we can make it back to the money that we just wasted on those trade items. Damn, that was really dumb of me. I shouldn't have bought that item. Yeah, see, I bought it for 352 so I'm losing money on that. Sorry, but I'm making money on everything else. Alright, so we did okay. We did okay. We came out with 1,200. Let's go ahead and buy some tools over here. Um, anything else we can buy? Buy some leather jackets. Make our frontline soldiers a little stronger, not a whole much. We're also going to buy a militia spear. So one of our shittier guys is going to have a better chance to hit. We're going to go ahead and give Eugene. We'll give you a spear, sir. We're also going to give Sybil, we're going to give you a little bit extra armor deer. And we're also going to give Eugene. Actually, we're going to give it to Laura, because Laura, we have big plans for Laura. We don't want her to, we don't want anything bad happening to her. Alright guys, so it looks like we had a pretty good little playthrough. We managed to level up a few times, we managed to get through a few uh, contracts, actually I think like four or five. So we're doing pretty decent in that realm. Matter of fact, let me buy that throwing spear. We're going to have two throwers. And yeah, we should be pretty good. Actually, let me see this. This guy's going to be horrible in combat. So let's go ahead and give him some bandages as well. So yeah, with that, you guys, this has been Battle Brothers, the Legends mod, the Militia playthrough. This is O Camilo's, our, our mercenary company, which means lowborn in Greek. I am your host, Black Swan. It's been a fun time kicking with you guys. Catch you guys in the next episode. Sayonara.